Hi friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. Welcome back to another quick chat and uh, insight. And uh, if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe to uh, and also hit that notification bell so you are alerted when I post a new video. So today I wanted to share some thoughts about a quick memory that Facebook, you know how Facebook does every now and then they bring in, uh, uh, they show up a uh, memory from <laughs> like some two years or three years back. So this memory is about uh, a photo that I shared online and it has to do with uh, my first computer that I ever owned that is the one right there my daughter saw it one time saw a photo of it and then she asked me what are those things that are on the desk right there and she even saw the phone <laughs> right there and she's like what is that dad so i had to explain to her how i started out how i i mean i had a dream of creating animated movies and uh, tell stories and write scripts and things like that and then i showed her you know my desk right now what you're looking at is that uh, you know the kind of computers that we're using right now you know, flat screen monitors that vary, you know, <laughs> in quality to like what I used back then. But the thing that, you know, stuck out the most to me is that uh, I even back then when I had those computers, I still had a, a big desire to animate and tell stories. You know, that desire never went. So even as I struggled with the memory, with the kind of dream that I had, because it, it brings me... It makes, reminds me of that story of how James Cameron, you know, when he wanted to uh, start up, when he was creating Avatar, it took him 10 years to make because the technology hadn't caught up to his dream. For my part, for sure, I had a dream that was bigger than the technology that was available at the time. I wanted to tell these stories, incredible stories. And for some reason, you know, I didn't have uh, access to the technology that I have now. And because of this technology, I was able to, with my team, create an animated film that has actually won uh, two awards, Best Animation Awards. And, but it all started here. It all started with that old technology back then. I used to connect that little monitor right there to do the editing. You know, I remember having to plug in cables to a VCR. <laughs> my kids have no idea what those things are so even seeing a phone like that with a, a cord on it and the scanner and uh, you know the boxy monitor it seems uh, lost on them or the challenges that we had to face so in a way um, I am glad that I went through the struggles the challenges and the technology struggles that I did because it makes me uh, it, had, it has formed how appreciative I am of the technology that I, we have now because back then i had no idea for example what oculus would that oculus would come around and that would have all these cool technologies like uh, motion capture for that i use on my you know animated characters from the adventures of Nkosa and nancha for our animated tv series and i never stopped dreaming and I continue, I continue to draw and sketch just like you see right there. And you can actually see some of those sketches still here. I keep those sketches because they remind me of where I came from and a desire to write these stories and bring them to life. No matter how old the technology was, no matter how difficult it was to work with those computers, I knew that someday if I held on long enough, if I, if I kept working hard, that I would eventually be able to get to the point where I am right now and teamwork has been one of the best assets is because you can't create in a vacuum there, reach, there comes a point where you know you can only do so much as an individual at this point I look at my young self and I know the dreams that I had in my brain but I knew how limited I was because there were so many people who are better than me out there and it wasn't until I actually joined uh, several defense contracting companies that were creating video games for the military that I met people like uh, Nelson, who inspired me so much, who taught me. And he was a black man doing something that I was aspiring to do. And so my desire right now is to do my best to help uh, other artists and animators and dreamers like myself, myself who's tr who are dreaming big, but they don't have the technology to bring their dreams to life. You know, I want to help. I want to continue to inspire. That's why I'm creating these tutorials and these insights. Because as long as you have an example of someone who has done it before you, I think it makes it much easier for you to continue dreaming. Because I know, for example, James Cameron, when he started to, when he was creating Avatar, uh, he had seen other. He had created uh, 
Titanic, for example, and he had seen how you know successful it had been, and of course he had seen other uh, directors create other movies, uh, sci-fi movies, but he had a dream, and he never gave up, and he until uh, he waited and continued working hard until the technology came along. And for me, I am grateful that the technology finally caught up to my dream to be able to create the adventures of Nkosa and Nancha, and to be able to use that to actually help parents and kids learn about our cultural heritage and to be proud of our languages using animation as a medium to tell those stories. I am super grateful to everyone that has come alongside me who has helped me. My uh, teammate Bruno Sekandi who I've been with in the trenches, my wife, of course my kids like my daughter who asks questions that continue to remind me of where I have been and how I continue to work hard towards that dream. So guys, you know, I encourage you, please don't give up on your dream. Continue to dream big and do please spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are alerted when I post a new video. And I'm going to do my best to continue sharing uh, you know, con different tutorials and insights to help others like myself who are you know on a similar path a similar path <laughs> pursuing that uh, storytelling dream so thank you so much guys uh, see you next time with another insight and tutorial thank you so much bye